The animation, well, it's actually pretty impressive, but like most kids shows, seemingly every episode gets flooded with dislikes. Maybe there's something I'm not aware of, but I'm not gonna question it. We hear a lot about YouTube backlash, but if you think 10,000 dislikes is a lot on a video, well, uh, you haven't seen anything yet. What is up everybody, Chaos here. Welcome to the channel, and today we're going to be checking out 10 of the most disliked videos on YouTube, specifically the 10 most disliked videos on YouTube as of December 2020. Another year is rolling over. So since we're about to get into so many dislikes, if you guys wanna drop a like on this video, that would be great. Let's, let's drop a like for every dislike we see on this countdown. At number 10, Friday by Rebecca Black. This takes me back, no surprise, no surprise. Friday is perhaps one of the most annoying songs ever recorded, and it was released on YouTube on February 10th of 2011. That was, I think that was three months after I launched my YouTube channel, but after a few months of going up, it was actually taken down by Rebecca herself due to an ongoing legal dispute between her and the record label. After it was all resolved, the video was re-uploaded on September 16th of 2011, where it grew and grew and grew and quickly became one of the most disliked videos in YouTube's history. The song, well, it's bad. I mean, the lyrics are bad, the video is kind of bad. And honestly, I'm not sure what it is about Friday that it ended up being so popular, but then again, it is kind of catchy. But normally when a bad song comes out, people just move on and forget about it. But there was something about Friday that just sunk itself into people's brains until it became one of the biggest memes of 2011. Today, Friday is sitting with over 138 million views and 3.6 million dislikes. Something you guys aren't going to dislike is the PlayStation 4 giveaway. Drop a like, make sure you're subscribed with your post notifications on, and in the comment section, tell me, what is your least favorite video on YouTube? And include your Twitter handle for a chance to win. At number nine, Masha and the Bear, Recipe for Disaster by Get Movies. Now, this is one I actually didn't know existed until the research for this video was done. So, here we go. For those that don't know, like I didn't, Masha and the Bear, Masha and the Bear, is a Russian animated kids show that debuted in 2009 and has been very successful ever since. Following the rise of YouTube, the production company started uploading full episodes of the show to their official channel, and they've since become one of the most viewed kids channels on the entire site. The animation, well, it's actually pretty impressive, but like most kids shows, seemingly every episode gets flooded with dislikes. Maybe there's something I'm not aware of, but I'm not gonna question it. And on January 31st of 2012, an episode called Recipe for Disaster was uploaded. And something about it caught the eye of YouTube and the algorithm, and it ended up blowing up to 4.2 billion views. Billion with a B, people. But no, vi no big video is safe, okay? No big video is safe from dislikes, and it's sitting with an impressive 6.7 million likes. That's good. It's also holding on to 3.6 million dislikes, making it the ninth most disliked video in YouTube's history. And looking at the video, I don't really see why it's so dislike worthy, but I guess that's just one of the mysteries of YouTube. And once the dislike train starts, it's like a snowball and it's hard to stop. Speaking of snowballs, the Infinite Warfare Revealed trailer by Call of Duty. Now this video actually held the number one spot, the coveted spot on YouTube, for a little while, but I guess YouTube has really stepped up their game since since then it's been bumped all the way down to number eight, okay? It's been out three years. The Infinite Warfare trailer went live in early May of 2016. It showed off a far future setting that Call of Duty fans, they didn't want. Then just to make matters worse, the end of the trailer revealed that the fan favorite Call of Duty 4 was being remastered, yes! But in order to get it, Activision was forcing you to drop a minimum of $80 on the special edition of Infinite Warfare. Now, this was a huge slap in the face to the Call of Duty community, and it was one of the biggest examples of a big-name publisher being completely out of touch with their fans. Today, the IW Reveal trailer has been viewed over 43 million times and has garnered 3.8 million dislikes. At number 7, Despacito by Louis Fonzi. Now, this is another song that was made with endless meme potential but nobody knew it at the time, which is usually how it works. Now, he is a Puerto Rican singer who has been active since the late 90s, but a lot of people were exposed to him for the first time in 2017 when he released Despacito, one of the most aggressively catchy songs I've ever heard. Released in January of 2017, it had a track with Louie and Daddy Yankee that quickly exploded. Is that Louie or Lewis? I, I, I think it's Louie. I don't know. As of right now, the music video has been viewed over 6.5 billion times, and it's earned itself a spot on this list with 4.3 million dislikes. But here's the impressive part. 
It has a staggering 35 million likes. So even though it's one of the most disliked videos on YouTube, it still has an 89% like to dislike ratio, which is incredibly impressive. At number six, can this video get 1 million dislikes by PewDiePie? Now PewDiePie knows how to play the internet like a fiddle. He, he, he's come an extremely long way. Well, he's come a long way from the early days of amnesia. I mean, come on, those playthroughs and his happy wheels and all that. He is one of the most successful internet personalities in history. And on Christmas Eve of 2016, well, the Pewds decided to play the internet once again and prove just how much influence he had over YouTube like M. Bison and Street Fighter 2. He uploaded a video called, Can This Video Get 1 Million Dislikes? And today, three years later, it has been viewed almost 19 million times and has 4.4 million dislikes and it's sitting with a 6% like to dislike ratio. Now, if there is ever an official video game about YouTube or anything like that, PewDiePie is going to be the final boss. The dude can single-handedly decide what is and isn't popular on this website. At number five, it's Everyday Bro by Jake Paul. Now, up until this point, a lot of people didn't even know who Jake Paul was. However, when he released this music video and it started getting spread around the YouTube community, people started seeing how obsessed this guy was with himself. Well, it quickly became a laughing stock. It's Everyday Bros, a music video starring Jake and his buddies all rapping about how awesome they are because they vlog and buy expensive things, I guess. I don't know. To this day, I'm not really sure what the objective of the song Well, it was to make money, obviously. But there's no way Jake thought this legitimately made him look cool or he just likes to look like a prick. I don't know. But on the plus side, It's Everyday Bro gave birth to some beautiful memes thanks to Jake's total obliviousness and it also kicked off the whole Team 10 YouTube drama story arc that was one of the most entertaining parts of 2017. As of right now, It's Everyday Bro has been viewed over 257 million times and racked up 4.5 million dislikes. At number four, Baby Shark Dance by Pink Fong Kids Songs and Series. Now, have you guys heard this new song I found called Baby Shark? It's a relatively unknown indie track. It's a catchy beat. It's just a shame there's not a whole lot of people know about it, you know? Anyway, jokes aside, Baby Shark is one of the most catchiest songs ever recorded. It's no secret why it blew up. The original Baby Shark video was uploaded in June of 2016 by a channel called Ping Fong, but it took a few years for it to reach prime meme status. And to, it had to go in the oven. It had to go in the meme oven, and sometimes that takes time. In 2018 and 19, Baby Shark was everywhere, and I'm not really sure where the change happened, but something about it just grabbed onto meme culture, and it held on. The video exploded, spawned tons of parodies, covers, remixes, everything. The original Baby Shark video has over 4.2 billion views and has a whopping 4.9 million dislikes. However, it has an even more impressive 12 million likes, which means it's actually one of the best like-to-dislike ratios on the entire list. I, I mean, I would consider that a win if I were Pink Fong. At number three, YouTube Rewind 2019 by YouTube. Now, uh, it was a step up from 2018, but maybe it was a step sideways. 2018's Rewind felt like Google just didn't give a crap about what was going on in the community, but 2019's felt like Google was trying way too hard to be forgiven and it made the video just feel soulless and boring. Now, personally, I think a lot of the hate towards Rewind came from all the resentment people had towards YouTube at the time because after all the awful policy changes and unexplained bans throughout 2019, this Rewind seemed like YouTube was just desperate for our approval. Now, it also didn't help that the video itself, it was rushed. It looked rushed. Instead of being something fancy and directed like previous years, Rewind 2019 was a weird compilation of other videos, like something you'd actually see on my channel, not from YouTube themselves. So, I think it was better than 2018, but then again, you would, you, I mean, you, <laughs> you, you could have done anything. You could have filmed a cat on a water scooter and it would have been better than uh, Rewind in 2018. As of right now, it has 73 million views and 8 million dislikes. At number two, Baby by Justin Bieber. Now, the original annoying YouTube song, Baby, came blazing into our ear holes on February 19th of 2010, the 65th anniversary of the invasion of Iwo Jima. Yeah, that's a real thing. Now, this was the first time the world got a look at Justin Bieber, a young pop singer who had been recently discovered by Usher and Scooter Braun. So many aspects of the song, well, they make me scratch my head. Why did they think it was going to be good uh, as a first song for the new artist? I don't know. Why did they think the song was actually good? I mean, clearly they knew better than we did because Justin Bieber quickly blew up and became a household name and millions of people, unironically, enjoyed the song. So, I, I mean, I, I don't really know anything about music anyway. Today, Baby is sitting with 2.1 billion views on YouTube, 12 million likes on YouTube, and 10 million dislikes, making it uh, one of the only videos on this list with a positive like to dislike ratio. And at number one today, YouTube Rewind 2018 by YouTube. Now, YouTube has made a lot of horrible decisions over the years, but this one 
This was a low point. There's peaks and valleys, and this was the valley, even by their standards. YouTube Rewind had been a tradition for years and years, and it was usually a celebration by Google to show off main names on the platform at that time. However, as time went on, and YouTube became more and more corporate, well, the Rewind started feeling less genuine and more like an advertisement as Google only showed off people they liked instead of the people who the community liked. I mean, half the people in this Rewind, nobody even knew who they were. And the lack of awareness, it hit critical mass in late 2018 when Google made their rewind full of non-YouTube celebrities, cringy pop culture references, ham-fisted social messages, and the whole thing felt like the suits at YouTube hadn't even been remotely paying attention to what was going on in the community that year. It was awful, and it stood as a testament to just how out of touch Google was with their community and how corporate the website had become. Today, the video has been viewed over 194 million times respectively and has gained over 17 million dislikes, making it ironically the most disliked video in YouTube history. So the most disliked video is YouTube's video themselves. You guys, let me know what you think. Which of these videos do you remember the most? There are two videos on the screen. Let's make those the most liked videos of the day, and I'll see you guys soon.